Hey Soapy folks, this is Kevin with Divinely Design and we have a soap video. Um, okay, so I think this is going to go pretty quickly. I'm all set to go, but let me go over the recipe. In my oils, I have 480 grams of olive oil pomace, 300 grams of coconut oil, 240 grams of cocoa butter, 120 grams of rice bran oil, and 60 grams of castor oil. In my lye and water, I have 456 grams of water and 167 grams of lye. The recipe will be in the description below. Today I'm going to do a chocolate peppermint soap. The fragrance is um, 60 grams of chocolate amber, which is a fragrance oil from Brambleberry, which was the winner of the spring 2015 soap panel. Um, it smells amazing. It is very chocolatey, but um, has this like silky quality to it. It's gorgeous. Um, and then I've combined that with 20 grams of Japanese peppermint essential oil from New Direction Aromatics. Mmm, that's really nice. It's it's just enough peppermint to give you kind of the hint because peppermint I think is so overpowering so you still get a lot of the chocolate notes in there. Um, design wise I think I'm going to keep the majority of my soap base kind of a, a milk chocolate. Then I'm going to have um, some accent colors in a dark chocolate kind of color and then green kind of for the peppermint. Um, I'm going to do I think a peaked top with kind of a Jackson Pollocky kind of top is my plan for now. So in order to color the soap, um, I have a couple things. I have Black is Black um, Mica from TKB Trading, which unfortunately is no longer available. They do have a suggested replacement for it. Titanium dioxide from uh, Brambleberry. I have uh, a celestial color, which is a liquid, liquid colorant, which is called Cappuccino which is kind of a brown. Then I have some cocoa powder, and I have some Maniacal Pea Mica from Mad Oils. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna use the cocoa powder. I, I'm gonna try and use the cocoa powder, the black, and the cappuccino to sort of adjust <clears throat> the brown of my uh, soap. I do have 30 grams of vanilla stabilizer from Wholesale Supplies Plus because Chocolate Amber does discolor. I'm going to place some of that in the, the sort of lighter chocolatey color, um, but some in the green as well. Um, I have two tablespoons of sodium lactate from Brambleberry and two tablespoons of aloe vera liquid from Brambleberry as well. And I'm using the Tall and Skinny Mold from American Soap Supplies. Okay. I think we are ready to go. My temperatures, oils and water are both right around 70 to 75 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to add to my oils, my sodium lactate. And <clears throat> my aloe vera liquid. Okay, and then here goes the lye water. In goes my fragrance oil. Okay, uh, let me pour off some for my dark chocolate and some for my peppermint, my green. All right, so my vanilla stabilizer, a little's gonna go um, in the, the lighter milk chocolatey color and then some in the green. This is a uh, maniacal pea. Okay, for my light chocolatey color, I'm gonna use the cappuccino. And for my dark, I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use a little of the cappuccino and a little of the cocoa powder. 
and I think a tiny squirt of black. And let's see how that works out. Okay, this is still really loose. Um, you probably saw I did a drop swirl, and then I used uh, the hanger tool from Brambleberry and uh, did a little bit of a hanger swirl in there as well. Um, this is still really liquid though, so I have some of my green, my dark brown, and my light brown kind of saved. Um, I need it to firm up, because uh, I'd like to kind of do a peaked top, and then I'm gonna do some drizzles on top. So I'm gonna put the, um, video on pause, let this firm up, and then we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready. It's still kind of loose, but I'm, I don't want to do like a giant peak. I just kind of want to do a, a gentle slope from the side to the middle. giant peak there. All right, so now I have some of my leftover soap and um, I kind of want to just do a drizzle kind of thing on top, um, but I'm, I'm going to be kind of loose with it and just Okay, that's it. It's gonna go in the fridge and uh, sit for a few hours. And then uh, I'll take it out and let it come to room temperature and cut it in probably about 24 hours. Okay, so stay tuned for the cut. Okay, everyone, here we are with the cutting of chocolate peppermint. Um, this sat in the fridge for a few hours, then I took it out last night. Um, I actually unmolded it last night, probably around eight, eight hours or so after I poured it, maybe even a little less. It got very hard. Um, so I just let it sit overnight uh, to come to room temperature. So right now it is probably, uh, let me see here, 12, 5, 7, so... It's probably around 17 hours old or so, okay? All right. There we go. I bet this smells freaking amazing. Mmm, that is just... I think it's just the right amount of peppermint not to overwhelm the chocolate, but you still get a nice chocolatey smell in there. And that's kind of exactly what I was going for, for color combination. Sort of like a combination of milk chocolate and dark chocolate and then green for the peppermint. I think it came out good. This is more of a, a fine line kind of swirl as opposed to just a normal drop swirl, which are kind of tend to be sort of bigger chunks. But this was also poured when it was really thin, so. 
Ooh, I like that one. Mmm, I could smell this all day long. Okay, that's it. Kind of a quick soapy video today. Comments, questions, leave them down below. Like, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff. Um, and uh, that's it for now. Check back here for more soapy and crafty videos. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.